What's going on guys? It's your boy John and Liquid Editor coming back with another video. So it looked like shocking new information is coming out of Paris that the Team USA women's basketball team is having trouble filling seats in these arenas. Guys, for this one here, we got to go to the Paris Olympics. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> And just like we all predicted, man, no one wanted to go see Jurassic Park in the Olympics, dog. The Paris Olympics Committee is mad, bruh. The U.S. women's basketball team is not filling seats for their games and is starting to make national news. Now, we all know the WNBA been killing it over here in the States, selling out games every game. Now, a lot of that has been that uh, Caitlin Clark is a big part of that. Now, Caitlin Clark is not on this team. We all know what happened. They snubbed her. Now, what if I was to tell you that Paris is not happy about the snub because it's being reported that Olympus having trouble selling tickets for Caitlin Clark less USA Germany game. The Paris 2024 Olympus is having trouble selling tickets to the US Germany women's basketball game, which is scheduled for August the 4th. Special offer tickets are now available. Only 24 euros each, and the seats can be anywhere in the venue, maybe in the front row. They basically giving tickets away to have fans be in this arena because we already know when this thing come on NBC and that arena is empty, it is going to raise eyebrows online. Now, we know, just like I reported before, Caitlin Clark has been selling out arenas throughout the states. They is big boy mad right now. Caitlin Clark has consistently drawn massive crowds as phenom in women's basketball, selling out arenas in the U.S. and even forcing the WNBA to move the games to big venues now we did see that take place countless of times throughout this season so far just like the las vegas aces had to move their game from michelob arena to the t-mobile arena the kayla clark effect has proven to generate large ticket sales the women's basketball team decided to not select kayla clark for the roster going with 12 other players which is dinosaurs that was not reported i just quizzed that in there i just gotta keep it real the indiana fever rookie now watches from afar now, Kayla Clark did speak with reporters yesterday, and she stated that she has been playing close attention to this year's Olympics whenever she can. And I'm telling you right now, Kayla Clark is definitely laughing away as they is struggling to fill up these arenas. That is crazy right now because I thought – these was the best women in the world, and people will want to see the best women in the world play. Moving on to another story. A lot of people have been poking fun at Team USA throughout their journey in Paris. None other than Stephen A. Smith has broke his silence once again about this matter with her not being on the team. It's being reported that Stephen A. Smith responds to Don Staley on Caitlin Clark's absence with an irrefutable argument. The USA women's basketball team started their Olympic journey with the statement win over Japan 102 to 76. However, despite their dominant performance, the game was marked by a surprisingly low turnout, drawing the smallest crowd among the opening women's basketball games at the Paris Olympics. This attendance issue sparked criticism from NBA analyst Stephen A. Smith, who questioned the selection committee decision not to include Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese on the roster. He empathized that Caitlin Clark has been instrumental in boosting interest in women's basketball both during college career with the Iowa Hawkeyes and now in the WNBA. Stephen A. Smith argued that these players are not just skilled athletes but also draw significant viewership which could have helped fill the arena. He presented data showing the subsequent audience that Clark attracts reinforcing his point that star players play a crucial role in bringing fans to the games. And just like I've been reporting on, nobody want to come see these women play, not even overseas. Team 
USA win over Japan only drew 13,000 fans, which was the lowest attended game among the opening six matchups in the group play. The Serbia versus Puerto Rico game was the second worst attended game with 15,000, drawing 2,000 more fans in their game. Four of the six opening games drew over 20,000 fans. This has some observers wondering if the presence of Kayla Clark and Angel Reese will have the stands packed for Team USA. And I'm here to tell you, most definitely, people want to see these two rookies play. It has been proven time and time again that Kayla Clark and Angel Reese draw immense presence to these games when they hit the court. Not only did this year WNBA All-Star Game set a record with 3.4 million viewers, an increase of over 300% from the 2023 game, but the top 12 WNBA broadcasts this season have all been Fever games. On top of that, the Fever lead the WNBA in attendance at over 16,000 fans per game, over 4,000 more than the next closest team, bro. This is jaw-dropping information right here. Caitlin Clark is instrumental in the WNBA being where it's at right now. Now, I'm getting word that they're looking to add more value to the already 2.2 billion dollar media deal they're looking to pick up another network to get another billion dollars pushing it over the three billion dollar mark will they do it as of right now i don't know but having caitlin clark i believe they can get down in the comment section right now let me know y'all thoughts about this i find this to be pretty mind-blowing that these ladies cannot sell out these tickets being that they are the superstars of team usa many championship players is on this team asia wilson arguably one of the best players in the world is on this team and she too cannot help them fill the seats this is crazy get down in the comment section let me know your thoughts about this keep them bells on because you know i'm gonna bring you the news and until next time down shake the haters off i'm out of here Peace out. Shake the